Hello, this is Martin Brossman, and I'm making a quick video to show how you can build a very simple website on sites.google.com, free of charge, get going fast. It's all integrated into several of our courses where we do a deep dive on explaining all the aspects. So we click here, blank, to start. Click there, blank, and it brings up a page. So then we want to give the title to the page, I'm going to start working on a landing page to go to my t-shirts that are for sale over on Amazon. And this is just a start. Now I'll go in and put a title in here. There we go. Evocative quotes. Then I can go, I wonder what type of header. Do I want that one, a bigger one, cover, or which? We'll, we'll think about it as we move forward. From there, I want to add some text. So let's add some text. A text box right here. We'll get this in. And I'll put some text in. And I really want it to be bigger. All right, we'll make this a subheading. And select it and make it 24. OK, so it's bigger. And I'd like to get that centered. Got to start here. Okay, now I want to add some pictures. So let's get some pictures up. I'll go over here and upload images. And get these three pictures up. Okay, I really want to move these around. I think I want this one over here. And then that one there, and I'll have centered. And it makes it, basically centers it. Very good. And then I'd like to... I want to hyperlink these to the pages on Amazon. So let me go get the link to Amazon and hyperlink it in. Here's the link. Make sure it's a clean link. So if there's a question mark and something else, clean that off and grab it. So we'll grab that. Bring it over here. Select this image. And we got a little link there. So let's select this one. And then we got a little link. We'll paste that in. So there's hyperlinked it. Apply. So now this image is linked. You know what? I want this one over here. So let's move it around. Woo! Nope, we don't want them on top of each other. Hold it. Now I want this one in the middle. There we go. And hit this and select hyperlink to that one. That's the next one I got from Amazon. Then go get the next one. And here's the final link. Copy it. And hyperlink to that. And then I want to tell them about, I want to add some more text down here. So add a text box down here. And I'll invite them to my Facebook page. So follow us on Facebook. I want that a little bigger. want that centered, center it, and I want to make this hyperlink. Click it, hyperlink, and it makes it a hyperlink as well. Now, let's look at the top. You know, I don't like them having to scroll down, so let's go ahead and change that header to title only. That's good. And then I want to call the site There we go. Site name. I can add logos, other information. This is just to get going. Then I, I'd like to add a button. I'll come back and add buttons or and a lot more to it. I wanted to show real simple how to do it. Then when you're done, you click publish to get it published. It'll give you an option for the name. It also gives us what we talked about in the landing page course, the ability to not make it visible by Google search engine, especially for driving someone to it. This is mainly going to be driven from the Facebook page or something else. But if I wanted to not have any it in the search engine, I could click that as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a hyphen in this and click publish it. And here we are. This is it. This is how it looks. Here's the link. 
sites.google.com. I call this a subdomain of it. I could buy a domain and point to it, but look how quickly I got something at least up. Many things I can improve and plan on it, but I've got it up and running and testing that quickly. This is Martin Brossman. Make sure to click subscribe and the bell to see future videos and check the text below. We'll put a, a link in so you can come and look at this as it evolves. Have a great day.